disappointed. Um, it's a hard one. I don't really have any excuse tonight. Um, I think it's a, it's a disappointing result. I think we were outfought. I think we were outthought as well. Um, and we just lacked a bit of creativity. We came back twice, but again, after the first goal, we conceded straight after, and um, it's not acceptable in 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 my book. And um, you know, it's just very, it's very disappointing. It's a hard one. Yeah, but you had, uh, gave some opportunities to some academy kids today. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's it like? How they've been in training, and you know, what's it mean to give such young players an opportunity to play for the press? No, it's 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 great. That's what makes all of this, you know, really really awesome, and it makes it all worth it. It's it's seeing the light on their faces when they they get called to to walk on. I mean, even just you know Riley Ramey, you know, the buzz on her face when she, you know, when we brought her on. Um, that's that's fantastic, and it's just a good message to other young young players in the academy that there's a pathway. It's a, it's it's doable um, if you put the work in. If you if you you know do all the right things well often. Chances will come, and we are a club that that wants to give back to those girls that are given to the club as well. So I'm really happy for the academy girls. They're getting multiple opportunities, and what's even better is they're making an impact as well, which is really really positive. Yeah. Two quality goals today. One yeah. great curler from Eleanor Franco, and then yeah. the second free kick in the second game running yeah. for JVB. Just tell me about those two goals. Oh, it's beautiful, um, and that's what's really frustrating is that we're showing. So many glimpses of, of the potential that we have, we're just not able to put the nail in the coffin. Um, and we're allowing teams to get back in. But the technical ability from both Elo and Jay tonight was top draw. I mean, Elo cutting in on a right on a weaker foot and bending it into the top corner. Um, and then Jay with a simple, almost pass into the net from the free kick. And we spoke about it when it was happening. We were like, oh, she should go to the, the keeper's side, just pass it in there. And she did it, and it was really good. But again, we need more. We need players all over the field to be able to score. We need to take advantage of set pieces. We need to take um, advantages of these these chances that we're getting. We hit the post, we hit the bar. So the chances are there. It's just the same story every week. We're not we're not ruthless enough, and that's disappointing. But it doesn't mean that can be the the final the final chapter of the story. We have we have more time. We've got games to come. So the big thing for us now is just dust ourselves down and and know and accept and understand that performances like that are not acceptable at this club and um, I told the girls that and they understand and I think this week in training they're going to come out with a much more you know stronger attitude towards it games to come we've got this one mm-hmm. upcoming Friday yeah. away at Georgia Impact what yeah. are you looking forward to for that game Again, a response. That's what I say every week because that's what it's about. It's about in, in life as well. When you get knocked down, what do you do? Do you do you sit and and you know let it affect you and let it dictate how other things go, or do you stand strong, chest out, ready to go and, and fight another day? Um, so there'll be a, a lot of motivation from myself this week. It'll be positive, but it'll also be raising the standards e- e- even more um, and pushing the girls to even past their, their maximum potential. Um, I believe in them. Um, like I said, I don't ever question effort or, or um, you know, their work ethic. But again, sometimes effort and work ethic isn't, what's gonna, isn't what is going to get you over the line. And tonight proved that. Any other uh, thoughts that you want to talk about that we might not have spoken about? Um... I, just, I think again for the fans, just keep believing in us. Um, we've had you know these home games. If we look at it, we've had some of the top sides all at home, and and um, some of the I don't want to say you know weaker sides. I don't want to say that, but some of those you know away from home. So you know a lot of fans sometimes in, in you know in, in clubs elsewhere they could look at that and go oh no I don't fancy it. But please, you know we want you to keep supporting us and keep coming because we will get the results and we are getting better. Um, we just we, I just hope. That we can, they can, you know, stand behind us and, and keep coming. Which I know they will. I know these fans inside and out, and I know what they stand for. So, um, just yeah, we're very, very grateful for the um, for the support, and long may it continue.